Shalom, everyone. Ami Bez Sarvis Davi. And we're going to have a little bit of moaning here and give a chance for others to come. Shalom, you all. I hope and pray the most I've kept you all and blessed you all thus far during the course of this week. Praise and thank him for allowing us to be alive in the land that are living. A lot of people take that for granted, you know, and they shouldn't. Shalom to everybody as they join. Praise and thank the Most High, because truly, truly, truly without him, where would we be? I'll give it another moment before we start. You will now enter the conference. Hallelujah. Um, not just yet. Hallelujah. Thank you, though. Yeah. Um, can you light a incense? Recording started. Shalom, everyone. This is Shema O Israel, and I'm Ibez Cyrus Darby, and my wife, Baki, she's in the proximity as well. Praise and thank the Most High for allowing us this time to gather together one more time in his name. Praise and thank him for allowing us to be in the land of the living. Um, we're not going to be long tonight, however, we're going to go over some things. Tonight, our first scripture, as always, is Isaiah chapter 56, verse 7. It is written, even them will I bring to my holy mountain, and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices shall be accepted upon my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all people. Hallelujah. Our next scripture tonight is Proverbs chapter 28, verse 9. It is written, He that turns away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Hallelujah. Our next scripture is the actual hearing of the law, Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. It is written, And Yah spake all these words, saying, I am Yah thy Elohim, which have brought thee out of the land of Mitzrayim, out of the house of bondage. You shall have no other Elohim before me. You shall not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. You shall not bow down thyself to them nor serve them. For I, Yah, thy Elohim, am a jealous Elohim, visiting the iniquity of the Abbas upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me and showing mercy unto thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. You shall not take the name of Yah thy El in vain, for Yah will not hold them guiltless that takes his name in vain. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of Yah thy El, and it you shall not do any work. You nor your son, nor your daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. For in six days Yah made heaven and earth to see, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day, wherefore Yah blessed the seventh day and hallowed it. 
Honor thy Abba in thy armor that thy days may be long upon the land which Yah thy El gives thee. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness against thy neighbor. You shall not covet thy neighbor's house. You shall not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Hallelujah. Today's prayer is Psalm 151. I don't know if any, uh, many of you all got it, but I'm going to read it. I posted it this morning. Actually, we're going in the Psalms all the way to 160. All right? For those who like to follow along what we post. Father Yah, as we kneel before your throne of mercy and grace, we glorify you and lift you up, Father, for life, health, and strength. Praise and thank you, Father, for keeping us with your keeping power and moving according to your election and purpose in the midst of our lives. Praise and thank you, Father, for allowing us, Father, to the tree of life, Father. Praise and thank you, Father, for you, your word, and for your ruach, Father. We ask, Father, for forgiveness of sins as we look to you from Psalm 151. It says that I was the smallest of my brothers, the youngest of my Abba's sons. He made me shepherd of his flock, ruler over their young. My hands made a flute, my fingers a lid. Let me give glory to Yah, I thought to myself. The mountains cannot witness to Yah, the hills cannot proclaim them, but the trees have cherished my words, the flocks, my deeds. Who can proclaim, who can announce, who can declare Yah's deeds? Yah has seen everything, Yah has heard everything, Yah has listened. Yah sent his prophet to anoint me, Samuel, to make me great. My brothers went out to meet him, handsome in form and appearance. Their stature tall, their hair beautiful, but Yah did not choose them. Instead, he sent and took me from following the flock. Yah anointed me with holy oil. Yah made me leader for his people, ruler over the children of his covenant. We ask, Father, that you would prepare us, Father, and make us sanctified and meet for your use. You're invited in the midst of this session this day, Father. I ask that you would use me as an instrument of thy will and thy purpose, Father. Forgive me of any sin, any shortcoming, Father. Fill me afresh with thy ruach, Father. Anoint my armor and be my peace, and most importantly, crown my head with wisdom. I ask, Father, that you would allow, Father, your ruach, Father, to be on me so that your people, Father, can receive whatever it is you will have them receive, Father, from us gathering and exhorting your word and encouraging one another. Bless those who would join us, Father. Bless those who are to join us. Bless those, Father, who will watch on replay, Father. I ask that you would, Father, meet them at their point of need, whatever city, state, country therein, Father, each and every child that would take time out, Father, and praise you and honor you, Father, I ask, Father, that you would bless them mightily indeed. I ask, Father, that you would continue to give us a hunger and thirst to minister unto you, Father, and we ask, Father, that as we minister unto you, you minister unto us. We ask this this day, in your word name we pray, hallelujah. Praise and thank him, you know. A lot of times we don't praise him enough. A lot of times we don't invite him into the midst of our lives or in the midst of our conditions, circumstances, and situations. Right now we're in the seventh month. In the seventh month, the first day of the month, we went through the memorial of blowing. And I'm going to tell you something. Um, somebody jumped on... Uh, one of the posts that we put out there about uh, uh, the seventh month, talking about scriptures say they are fall feasts and this and that, this and that. I haven't seen anything that said anything about being a fall feast or anything like that. I just know that we followed scripture. Uh, for those who are foreign to the concept of following scripture, when you follow scripture, you're outcome will be a little bit different 
than what everybody else is doing when they following men. So it's very important that we understand that. All right. In this seventh month, we got a lot of things going on. In this seventh month, this seventh month, uh, uh, name is called Ethanum, Ethanum, and it means permanent. So we got to stop somewhere along the line and make a decision. That decision we make in this seventh month, if you read some of what's going on in the seventh month closely, it talks about if you do not do this, your soul shall be cut off. Your soul shall be this. Your soul, that person shall be, all right? It's very important that we take time out and really, really, really get into scripture and not getting so much engulfed or caught up into what man is saying and doing. Yeah, I know some of you all are trying to be submitted uh, 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 to leadership and all of that, but who's your leadership plugged into? Who's your leadership following is my question, all right? In this seventh month, already we came in with uh, 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 the memorial of the blowing and 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 that one point right there in this seventh month on the first day, we had to make a joyful noise. So if we doing what the psalmist said in one nineteen verse one sixty four. It shouldn't have been nothing on a, 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 a Sabbath day for you to lift your hands and say Hallelujah, I praise and thank you. That's all Torah was about: lifting up your hands, lifting up your voice, making a joyful noise unto the Most High. It's very important that we all also remember that in this seventh month on Shabbat that we read that we have to offer ourselves unto the Most High, okay? In the midst of reading all the scriptures that we went through on Sabbath, we were together almost three hours. It was a lot of events going on in the seventh month, okay? Go back and check out the um, live from Sabbath. If you could bear through it, you know, it's three hours, but it's three hours of scripture. I'm not giving you what I think, what I thought, whatever, whatever, whatever. This is why so many people is going to miss the new kingdom because of, you know, uh, 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 people being caught up in what man's saying versus what the Most High is saying, all right? We had 12 points on, the, on this seventh month. And the second point actually was offering yourself the Yah, okay? When we read in Numbers 29 about the seventh month, it broke down all the offerings. So we got to offer ourselves the Yah. First, we're making a joyful noise. Then we're offering ourselves the Yah, all right? The third point of the seventh month was praying for yourself and for Israel, okay? We read one of Shlomo's prayers in the dedication of uh, 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 the temple. Okay, we got to begin to pray for ourselves and pray for those of Israel. Pray for our family members and loved ones that they will come into the household, the sheepfold of Israel. Okay, pray that the Most High wake them up and allow them to draw near. It's very important that we do because it shows that we're about our neighbor. We're our neighbor's keeper, our brother's keeper, and et cetera, and so on. All right. The fourth point of this uh, 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 seventh month, as we read, uh, uh, a good person is going to get assassinated. A good person is going to end up dead in this seventh month. Don't let it be you. Let your righteousness be righteous, okay? Always uh, uh, walk according to his election and purpose. Not saying that the um, what we was reading about uh, 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 that ended up dead, literally did something. No, it was a jealous spirit from Johan and, and uh, what was the other one? Uh, 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 the Ishmaelite. Uh, 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 it was Johan and one more that, that ran down on uh, Camille uh, uh, and, and killed him. It's very important that we as the uh, uh, people of the Most High, as we take uh, 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 stand in a position in this seventh month that we be mindful what's around us, okay? Another point went down in the seventh month. The fifth thing, be mindful of the covenant. Always be mindful of the covenant, okay? A lot of people don't 
have what we have, seek to destroy what we have, don't want to tap into what we have because people are out for themselves and wanting to do their own thing, all right? The sixth thing in this seventh month is uh, uh, you should receive answers from Yah, okay? When uh, uh, we was reading in, what was that, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, when Shlomo prayed that prayer in the seventh month and dedicated the temple and et cetera and so on, 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, begin to answer from the Most High as to what it is that he prayed for. So some of you all should be getting some answers in the midst of this seventh month. I don't read too many instances within scripture where it's people prayed and they didn't get answers, okay? Now, if you're praying and you're not getting answers, remember Isaiah chapter 59. His ear ain't, ain't stopped up and his arm ain't short, but our iniquity separated between us and him, all right? So it's very important that we work that, that salvation out. We work our relationship out with the Most High, and we do it with fear and trembling, okay? Um, the seventh thing uh, uh, in this seventh month, we found out that uh, 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 in the midst of all of the building and all of that, they had to enlarge the areas and lay the foundations for the heaps. So you, my friend, you, my sister, you, my brother, you, my neighbor, Begin to enlarge and make room in this seventh month for your blessing, all right? Because I'm going to tell you something. A lot of us need to empty ourselves out so that the most high can fill us afresh. Some of you all need to empty out your homes or some things. I'm talking about whether a curse or whether good things that are just sitting there that can be used uh, 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 um, for another person, okay? Some of you all have been praying about new, 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 new. No problem with that. That's that's not an issue or anything like that. But you ain't going to be a hoarder, okay? Be a blessing to someone else, okay? The most high, uh, I understand that some of you all pray. Bless me to be a blessing, okay? So if you're trying to pray, bless me to be a blessing, you're going to have to bless somebody so the most high can bless you. It's the divine laws of the universe, as one soweth, so shall they reap it, okay? As we went on in the midst of the seventh month, the eighth point was uh, uh, restoring worship. Some of you all really don't want to restore worship. Some of you all don't want to restore prayer life. Some of you all don't want to restore praise life because of the camp you go to, because of the assembly you tend. They forbid prayer, singing, praising, worshiping, and, 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 and other things. It's very important that you do what's right for you, okay? This seventh month is so serious that in the process of, of, of watching what went down and, and all of that, the ninth point of this seventh month literally came to get your house in order, okay? We got to get some order going on within us physically and spiritually and within our, our, our physical homes, okay? The tenth thing is in this seventh month is reinstituting the laws into our lives. A lot of things happen in this seventh month that disenfranchised us and pushed us away from the arms of the Most High. So it's up to us to work ourselves back into that position, that right standing, all right? The 11th point in this seventh month, my favorite point, the prophet Hananiah died, the false prophet, the lying prophet. You can check that out in, uh, where were we at in, with that? Jeremiah 27, Jeremiah 28, okay? The uh, Hananiah tried to lie to Jeremiah, Jeremiah of all people. And, and Jeremiah stood there and looked at him, looked at him. And then the spirit of the Most High hit Jeremiah, Jeremiah and said, oh, he lying. And, and Jeremiah told him, all right, because you lying and facing and, and hatching this lie out of your mouth and doing this and saying that, you know what I mean? The last verse in that chapter in Jeremiah 28 says, Hananiah died in the seventh month. 
So it's my prayer that all the false doctrine, the false prophets, the false teachers, all of those that would um, deter you and destroy you from following and walking according to the word, my prayer is that they die off out of your life. The most high will open doors no man can close and close doors no man can open. So that is my prayer in the midst of this uh, 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 seventh month for each and every one of us. Because a lot of you all are running around falsely accusing people based upon the doctrine of false prophets and false teachers. Remember what we read on the last fourth day. We was in 1 Kings 13 and 1 Kings chapter 22. 1 Kings 13 talked about the young prophet and the old prophet and how the old prophet lied to the young prophet. And then 1 Kings chapter 22 talked about how the most high put a lie in the mouths of the prophets just to get somebody tripped up. Be extremely careful who you're listening to, all right? And this one thing right here, this last thing, this 12th point in this seventh month says for us to fashion ourselves as the temple of the Most High, a place for him to dwell in. Remember Messiah told us in the back of the book that uh, the kingdom of heaven is within you, the kingdom of Yah is within you. So it's very important for us to look within that higher a, a, a spirituality, that holy side of us, and begin to tap into the kingdom of the Most High within us instead of looking and running around chasing every false prophet, every whim of doctrine. It's very important that we all continue to walk according to the Most High's election and purpose. Now, I understand that some of you all may struggle with some things, we all got our struggles and our own demons to fight. My thing to you is this, stay in prayer. If you stay in prayer, stay in fasting about this thing, it will never defeat you. Reason being, because you didn't give up. A lot of people give up before the miracle happens. Just before the miracle happens, they give up. So don't be one of them that gives up before the miracle happens. And some of you all may have to bring extra oil with you, meaning you may have to tap into an extra anointing going from glory to glory, faith to faith, and strength to strength as you climb Yaku's ladder. It's very important that you take time and apply scripture, not all the doctrine off the internet. I, I noticed that a lot of people are challenging me with doctrine off the internet with stuff that they, they they literally is finding on the internet that goes against scripture and trying to uh, 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 rebuke and refute scripture with somebody else's opinion. This is when we got to learn to cover our mouths. Back to Isaiah 58, all right? This is when we need to cover over our mouths. The Most High is trying to give you a, a, a deposit something in you, but you're too busy trying to talk while he's trying to talk to you. So the Most High says, okay, I'll have my servant be quiet and let you go ahead and do your thing. We'll catch you at another time, another season for another purpose. A lot of you all should have been a lot further in your walk with the Most High, but because you fear man and not the Most High, you're not where you're supposed to be in your faith and in your walk. A lot of you all are trusting in people that don't care nothing about your soul, don't care nothing about your salvation, don't care nothing about you walking according to the Most High's election and purpose. And these are the very ones that you take good seed and put it into bad ground, okay? But then you quit to talk about somebody when they say they need help. The whole time the Most High has blessed you but you took the good seed and gave it to the ravenous wolf, the hireling, okay? Because the hireling is after the money, okay? Don't care nothing about you. When he see the wolf coming, when he see the lion coming, the hireling is going to run and leave you, okay? I ain't even going to lie to you. I ain't going to argue with you about it, okay? I praise and thank the Most High for allowing us 
to continue to move according to his election and purpose because in this day and time, we all need to get back to his word. His word does not sound nothing like no doctrine. Anybody's giving you a verse out of here, a verse out of there, a verse out of here, and then filling in the blanks with their commentary, all right? Faith come out here and they hear by the word. Sanctify us in thy word, for thy word is true, all right? We as his children, the sheep of his pasture, got to get it in us. He has sent his word and healed us and delivered us from all our sins, all right? It's very important that we get the word because it's three that be record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Ruach, and these three are one. Hallelujah. Today's um, encouragement. I kind of like today's encouragement. Let's go to 1 Samuel chapter 9. All right. Praise and thank the Most High for all you all joining us. And I, I ask that you continue to join us. You know, um, we're looking to expand and grow to the point where it's, we're literally, for those who can make it, uh, trying to get together three times in a year. We're literally trying to get together at least twice a month on a Sabbath. All right? So just continue to pray and continue to ask the Most High to bless those in righteousness who would be a blessing unto his children. All right? Yeah. First Samuel chapter 9, verse 1. Now there was a man of ben Ami, whose name was Kish, the son of Abil, the son of Zeror, the son of Bacorath, the son of Aphiah, a Benjamite, a mighty man of power. And he had a son whose name was Shaul, a choice young man, and a goodly. And there was not among the children of Israel a goodlier person than he. From his shoulders and upward, he was higher than any of the people. And the asses of Kish, Saul's father, was lost. And Kish said to Shaul, his son, take now one of the Ebeds with thee, and arise, go seek the asses. And he passed through Mount Ephraim and passed through the land of Shalisha, but they found them not. Then they passed through the land of Shalem, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benamites, but they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Zuf, Shaul said to his Ebed that was with him, Come, let us return lest my Abba leave caring for the asses and take thought for us. And the Ebed said unto him, Behold, now there is in this city a man of Elohim, and he is an honorable man. All that he says surely comes to pass. Now let us go there, peradventure he can show us our way that we should go. Then said Shaul to his Ebed, But behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of Elohim, what have we? And the Ebed answered Shaul again and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver. That will I give to the man of Elohim to tell us our way. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of Elohim, thus he spake, Come, and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a prophet, a Nagvi, was before time called a seer. Then said Shaul to his Ebed, well said, come, let us go. So they went into the city where the man of Elohim was. And as they went up the hill to the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water and said unto them, is the seer here? And they answered them and said, he is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city. For there is a sacrifice of the people today in the high place. As soon as ye be come into the city, ye shall straightway find him before he go up to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he comes, because he do bless the sacrifice, and afterwards they eat that be bidding. Now therefore get you up, for about this time ye shall find him. 
And they went up into the city, and when they were coming to the city, behold, Samuel came out against them for to go up to the high place. Now, Yah had told Samuel in his ear a day before Shaul came, saying, Tomorrow, about this time, I will send thee a man out of the land of ben -Ami, and thou shalt anoint him to be captain over my people Israel, that he may save my people out of the hand of the Philistines, for I have looked upon my people, because their cry is come unto me. And when Samuel saw Shaul, Yah said unto him, Behold, the man whom I spake to thee of, this same shall reign over my people. Then Shaul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me, I pray thee, where the seer's house is. And Samuel answered Shaul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me into the high place, for ye shall eat with me today and tomorrow. I will let thee go and will tell thee all that is in thy heart. And as for thine asses that were lost three days ago, Set not thy mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on thee in all thy Abba's house? And Shaul answered and said, Am not I a Benamite of the smallest of the tribe of Israel, and my family the least of all the families of the tribe of ben -Ami? Wherefore then speakest thou so to me? Verse 22 in 1 Samuel chapter 9. And Samuel took Shaul and his Ebed and brought them into the parlor and made them sit in the chiefest place among them that were bidden, which were about 30 persons. And Samuel said unto the cook, Bring the portion which I gave thee, for which I said unto thee, set it by thee. And the cook took up the shoulder and that which was upon it and set it over before Shaul. And Samuel said, Behold that which is left, set it before thee, and eat. For unto this time had it been kept for thee, since I said, I have invited the people. So Shaul did eat with Samuel that day. And when they were come down from the high place into the city, Samuel communed with Shaul upon the top of the house, and they arose early, and it came to pass about the spring of the day that Samuel called Shaul to the top of the house, saying, Up, that I may send thee away. And Shaul arose, and they went out, both of them, he and Samuel, abroad. And as they were going down to the end of the city, Samuel said to Shaul, Bid the Ebed pass on before us, and he passed on. But stand thou still a while that I may show thee the word of Yah. Hallelujah. Uh-oh. We got some stuff to talk about, people. First and foremost, some of you all may be wondering, um, why am I saying uh, uh, Samuel name like that? Um, let's go back to verse. Um, let me show you his name right quick. Because in the King James somehow phonetically it breaks it down let's go to verse 14 all right verse 14 says and they went up into the city and when they were come into the city behold now look at the name samuel you see the dashes in the middle of the name sam u l all right <laughs> that's why i say his name the way i do okay just like with Israel, okay? Israel, okay? You see the little hyphens, the little phonetic breakdowns for the pronunciation? That's why I say his name the way I do, okay? To clear that up. Now, let's get back into this chapter. This is telling us right here in verses 1 and 2. That it breaks down the genealogy somewhat of the brother Shaul, Okay? And it's very important that we understand Shaul and, and all his chatted misgivings. I'm a true David, so in, the, in order for me to understand what's going on in my life, I got to literally take a look at all those that was around scripturally and begin to ascertain who was there for what reason and what purpose, all right? Well, 
just so happens we had a time in Israel when Israel was screaming to the Almighty, give us a king, give us a king, give us a king, all right? Now, every time the Most High tried to bless the people, every time the people of Israel saw the other people, for some reason, Israel always wanted to be like everybody else, other people. It's very important for us to be who we are. Because if you know the story of this, it didn't work out too well for um, Shaul being the first king of Israel, all right? We're going to read on, all right? The, the situation is this, verse 3. The asses of Kish, Saul's father, was lost, and Kish said to Shaul, his son, take now one of the ebeds with thee, arise, go seek the asses. Now, a lot of you all in Israel is running around like Shaul right now in his eBay, looking for the asses. A lot of you all sat down around a lot of asses, and I'm going to be the dumbass speaking to prevent all the prophets' madness because of the stuff going on in Israel, because of the doctrine, because of the false teaching. That's why I say in this seventh month, I hope and pray that the Most High Kill the false prophet, the lying prophet, out of a lot of you all's lives so that your life may be better. And I hope and pray you don't walk back down that path, okay? A lot of you all are running around looking for the asses when all you had to do was seek the face of the Most High. We're going to continue to read this story. For um, 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 3, the asses of Key Saul's father was lost. She said to Shaul, his son, take now one of the Ebeds with thee and arise, go seek the asses. They passed through Mount Ephraim, passed through the land of Shalisha, but they found them not. They passed through the land of Shalem, and there they were not. And he passed through the land of the Benamites, but they found them not. And when they were come to the land of Zuf, they went to five places, all right? They went to five places. It's very important that we as his children stop wandering. Stop being that wandering Jew. Stop looking for the asses and get where the man of Elohim is. I ain't saying I'm that man of Elohim. I'm saying I'm an Ebed of Elohim, okay? Get where the man of Elohim is. You should know where to draw your water from, all right? In the days when the Most High allowed Moshe to allow a uh, uh, water to come from the rock, each tribe knew where to get their water, okay? Some of you all need to find out where you need to be getting your water from. Drink water out of your own cisterns, meaning some of you all need to be sitting in the house with this instead of on, on, on people's posts, uh, 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 how they call it, stalking people's posts. Looking for every little word, seeing if they, they missed the comment, see if they missed the period, see if they got any typos, trolling people, trolling people's pages, looking for some excuse. You need to stop looking for the asses and get where the man of Elohim is. That's where your deliverance is going to come from, okay? A lot of you all are running around looking for Captain This One in. Uh, 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 officer this one and uh, 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 this one and that one, uh, Paqua this, Paqua mean bishop, uh, uh, Navi this, prophet mean, uh, Navi mean prophet, apostle this one, apostle that one, pastor this, pastor that. And I'm only talking within Israel. Yeah, them titles I done seen within Israel, okay? Some of you all claiming to be apostles. When have you saw Messiah arose? Now, if you say you see Messiah rise spiritually in people, that's one thing. But the apostles of old, they were literally eyewitnesses to the risen Messiah, okay? So when Revelation get to talking about how they said they were apostles, but you found them lying, yeah, I found a lot of you all lying, okay? When it come down to that title thing, always remember this, young warriors. Always remember this one thing. The Most High is either going to say, well done, my good and faithful Ebed, or depart from me, you wicked Ebed, for I know you not. 
He ain't going to say, get away from me uh, or come on in and enter my rest. Oh, thou uh, praise and worship leader, captain so-and-so yeah. and all of this, you know? Oh, yeah, and the captain of this month, it, it, his name was Halise. To get back into what we're talking about in this seventh month, all right? And his name means uh, uh, strength. So in the process of this seventh month, while you stop looking for the asses, get back into this word. You literally receive the necessary strength that you're seeking to abide permanently with the most high. But no, no, you ever run around and look for the asses, all right? You catching this doctrine, that doctrine, every whim of doctrine that can be found, that can be conjured up under the face of the earth. I can't control what's going on outside behind me. All I know if the seventh month came in on the 30th of August, and that's when we begin the 31st of August, we had Yom Torah, all right? I don't know what other count people is, is counting, how they counting and all of that. Well, some are saying, well, you know, it's still summer and all this. A fall solstice, a, a, a fall vernal equinox and all that mess ain't even scriptural. Stop with the shenanigans, Israel. Stop looking for the asses and get back to where Elohim is in his word. All right? It's very important that we do this. Okay? It's very important that we forsake the shenanigans of man. Again, I say uh, uh, do in, in this seventh month, all right? That prophet, that false prophet here and now is going to die out of your life. A lot of you all got false prophets right now trying to refute you. Every time you sit here and listen to one of these lives and take their notes, then you run go ask one of them that's full of the, the, the select type doctrine. They're going to tell you no all day long because they don't read the faith come out here and they hear by the word. They don't read that. They only hear what somebody at some table tell them what to preach and what to say. Ain't no different than the Sanhedrin from back in the day when Messiah walked the face of the earth. All right? Stop looking for the asses and get back to where the man of Elohim is. Get back to Elohim. Later for the man. Get back to Elohim. Stop looking for the asses and get back to Elohim. All right? A lot of you all probably looking at me saying, well, you know, he up there cussing and all this. I'm reading from the King James Version, all right? The word bastard is in here, all right? And that's what most of you all are that ain't got the rule out, won't accept Messiah. So what do you have? You got nothing. You're a bastard, all right? But quick to say you of Israel, all right? And then you talk about uh, people, uh, oh, well, they're using uh, 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 the N-word. The Niger is the one who immersed Paul. If you look up the word Niger, N-I-G-E-R, N-I-G-E-R, that means uh, uh, blacking, okay? And that's in the book of Acts. I ain't even leaving the scriptures of the King James. I ain't even going to the Apocrypha yet, all right? You all need to stop pointing fingers and start getting back into his word. That's where it's at, and that's where you should be, all right? It's very important that you do so. Faith come out here and hear by the word. That's why you ain't got no faith. And you can't you can't pray a coal off you. You can't pray a situation off you because you ain't got no word in you. All right? And that's what it come down to. Let's get back in, in, into here. All right? They went to five places. All right? Five places looking for the asses. Some of you all bounce from camp to camp, group to group on social media trying to find this and trying to find that. All you're doing is looking for the asses instead of trying to get where Elohim is, and that's in his word. But nah, you rather have the asses and ain't part of it. The other day we talked about um in the sixth month, Ezekiel, in Ezekiel chapter four, he literally had to eat dung cakes, dung bread, bread from his, uh, dung from his own backside, out of his own bowels. He had to bake that into his bread and eat it in front of Israel. All right, because of their iniquity, all right, because of the iniquity of, of, of idolatrous Israel, we need to repent, all right? Even we're going to make a choice and use Helise, which means strength. His name means strength. That's the captain of this month, Helise. Even we're going to make a choice to stand for the Most High and abide permanently with the Most High, or we're going to end up following everything but the Most High, and then we'll have our part. Blessed are you. Okay. 
It keeps it goes on to say right here in verse uh, 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 five. And when they were come to the land of Zuf, Shaul said to his Ebed that was with him, Come and let us return, lest my Abali can for the asses and take thought for us. Now the Ebed says to him in verse six, Behold, now there in this city is a man of Elohim, and he is an honorable man. All that he says come surely to pass. Now let us go there, peradventure he can show us our way that we should go. You're always going to need an eBay. Some of you all forsook the direction of the Navi, the prophet, the seer. Some of you all forsook the direction of the Pequod, the bishop. Some of you all forsook the uh, uh, direction of, of the elder, the Zakane. Some of you all forsook the direction of the teacher, the more But in this day and time right now, I'm going to tell you, let the Ruach do what it's supposed to do. Because I've seen all just about all that is taught of man and by man, and a lot of it is convoluted shenanigans, okay? It's a lot of excrement floating around in between scriptures. A lot of it is packed in and baked in like uh, that Ezekiel bread in Ezekiel chapter 4, okay? The Most High literally, go over there, check it out. Go over there and read it, Ezekiel chapter 4. The Most High told him, you will eat, um, um, get the lentils. He told him this, and this would trip me out when I read it. He said, you get you some lentils. You get you some of these and some of them and some of them and uh, 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 you're going to bake it and then put them in a bag, mix them together and you're going to bake it and all of this and you're going to get some water. You're going to drink it from time to time and then you're going to make, you're going to poop and then you're going to take the poop and you're going to bake it into the bread and then you're going to eat the bread. Take the poop in front of Israel and put it in the bread and bake bread in front of Israel and eat the bread in front of Israel because this is how Israel is in my sight. And, and, and Ezekiel literally had to put in a plea. Look, Father, I know you mad with we your children and sheep of your pasture, but nothing uh, unclean never went into my mouth. Nothing that dies of itself never went into my mouth. Nothing that was torn of itself never went into my mouth and the most high said why right, instead of your dung i'm gonna give you cow's dung all right he switched it up but it was still dung all right you don't want to end up eating dung cakes messing around with people that shouldn't even be in your life the lots in your life okay a lot of you all are dragging a uh, 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 a lot around with you from place to place and trying to make it all right with everybody, make sure everybody all right, but the Most High only called you and your family, okay? Everybody can't go where you going. Everybody can't go where the Most High want to bring you. So don't get upset. Don't be nervous. Don't get flustered. Don't get twisted. Don't get... Uh, 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 Flabbergasted, that's my word. <laughs> Everybody can't go with you. It's very important that you stay focused, okay? Because in this story here, 1 Samuel 9, and we have verse 6, okay? The uh, uh, Ebed literally knew. He said he was a man of Elohim. And then he be began to profile him. He's honorable. All that he says surely come to pass. And we as a people, we got to find honorable people. Let the Ruach show us where we need to be. And until then, some of you all need to forsake. That falling away is a good thing, okay? A lot of you all need to fall away from false doctrine and false uh, 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 teachings and false prophets in the highland. A lot of you all need to just fall away. If you can't go, if you don't go there, and if you don't give them money, how do they survive, okay? It's like uh, 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 literally you keep complaining about uh, 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 this dog getting out of the gate, but you keep leaving the date gate open. Shut the gate and the dog won't get out, okay? A lot of you all need to fall away from a lot of them places of worship. 
I don't get it. You know, uh, uh, some of these places of worship are preparing for uh, 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 Spartans and uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know what they, they dress for or preparing for. This thing is about nine millimeters of nuclear missiles right now, all right? And y'all running around like y'all got spears and swords. What are you doing? <laughs> I mean, this, this thing right here is one of those things that we as the children of the most high, literally, literally, going to need the most high to get through and navigate, it, all right? It goes on to say in 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 7, then said Shaul to his Ebed, but behold, if we go, what shall we bring the man? For the bread is spent in our vessels, and there is not a present to bring to the man of Elohim. What have we? And the Ebed answered Shaul again and said, Behold, I have here at hand the fourth part of a shekel of silver. That will I give to the man of Elohim to tell us our way. A lot of you all are taking good seed again and placing it into bad ground. All right. Anytime somebody is telling you for a ticket to pass over is fifteen hundred, twenty five hundred dollars, a ticket to uh, uh, come into atonement it is a thousand dollars and all this. Don't let them make merchandise of you. All right. Don't let them make merchandise of you. And most of them got the doctrine of the full moon being uh, 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 the beginning of the month. That's totally against scripture. All right. So it's very important, Israel, that we figure out, find out what it is we want to say and what it is we want to do, okay? A lot of you all think, well, that Ebed up there, uh, uh, Shemao Israel, that dude's a lunatic. He a nut. I see why he ain't in no camp or nothing like that. Look, man, check this out. Last time I was in a camp, I snatched my Isha out of a camp, all right? Only time I appear at a camp... Is do that year me a chapter one. The root out, tear down, pluck down, and all of that. All I am is all purpose spiritual warfare. And the most I know, he send me, I'll go. Okay. All right. <laughs> Give me some gas money, I'll get it done. I might have my own agenda <laughs> in whatever city I end up in, but <laughs> I'm gonna get it in there for the most high all day long. All right. A lot of you all are being hindered, hindered, financially hindered, all because you 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 conditioned to get tithes at 20, 25%, messing around with quote unquote camps and assemblies. Okay. I ain't even talking, I'm talking about seven day people. I ain't said nothing about no first day people. Y'all have at it. <laughs> I ain't even dealing with you and your shenanigans. Have at it. Because plainly as I read this King James Version, some of you all on the first day are reading that King same stuff in the King James Version that your pastor never preached. And you're going to say, well, you know, on that day of, of judgment, the pastor never preached this. Nah, you're supposed to go get that. Because you got to work your fear, your salvation out with fear and trembling. All right? So don't get caught up and caught out relying on the pastor when it's you yourself that's got to work this thing out, all right? So right here, they said they had a gift for the men of Elohim. Uh, 1 Samuel 9, verse 9. Whenever you see a parenthetical comment in Scripture, we back to this again, parenthetical comments in Scripture. Whenever you see a parenthetical comment in Scripture, a lot of people tend to go with the notion that it was added, okay? I don't know. I mean, that's the consensus. That's what I heard. You know what I mean? And I leave it there. It was added. But some of this stuff that was added was added to give, I don't know, insight, clarity to the believer, to the reader. All right? So verse 9 says, before time, you see the word Israel? It say is re -el. Okay? So before you start throwing stones at me about the way I pronounce words and all of that, that's what it said. Before time in Israel, when a man went to inquire of Yah, thus he spake, come and let us go to the seer. For he that is now called a Navi prophet was before time called a seer. Okay? 
And then it went on to say, then said Shaul to his Ebed, well said, come, let us go. So they went unto the city where the man of Elohim was. Some of you all may have to travel. I was down by a spot the day I took a picture. I was down by a spot the day that's perfect for immersion, okay? Some of you all got to make a decision in this seventh month before the, the weather and temperature really, really drastically changes and, and uh, it's a little too cold and a little too late. Make a decision about your immersion, okay? You got to work that out. And it show we we did a teaching on it a few weeks back from tour about immersion. Okay, it's one of these lives. Check, uh, baby, not this fourth day, last fourth day, the fourth day before that. All right, that's when we got into that about immersion. All right, so it went on to say in verse eleven. As they went up the hill to the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water and said unto them, is the seer here? Somebody, warrior, somebody is always going to be looking for you. You may not understand it now, but somewhere along the line, the most high, because you're faithful, faithful to his word, faithful to him, faithful to the most high, the most high will have people seek you out. So don't be alarmed, especially if you know you ain't did nothing. Do what I do. You know, uh, uh, Darvi prayed something over there in 1 Chronicles chapters 11 and 12 when some men uh, uh, wanted to join him. And Darvi at first didn't know who, he wa who they was. He said, well, you know, may the Elohim of our fathers, since I ain't done nothing to you and all of this and all of that, may the Elohim of our fathers Look down upon whatever you trying to do to hurt me and rebuke it. And then one of them turned around and answered and said, Nah, Davi, we're yours, we're yours, because your Elohim helps me. So when some of you all get a lot of people trying to follow you and all it is, don't always think it's a CIA, NSA, FBI plot or assassination. Some of them people are sent to you on assignment. You're uh, some of them people's inheritance, and, and some of them people are your assignment, okay? But make sure, as we read this story, okay, make sure you get a, 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 a check or you get a warning from the Most High by way of Ruach before you accept whatever it is they saying. We're going to continue to read, and you'll see what I'm talking about, all right? It's a tactical disposition in anything that we read in all this in these scriptures, all right? I'm going to say verse 12. Um, now, nah, verse 11, 1 Samuel chapter 9. And as they went up the hill to the city, they found young maidens going out to draw water and said unto them, Is the seer here? And they answered them and said, he is, behold, he is before you. Make haste now, for he came today to the city, for there is a sacrifice of the people today in the high place. As soon as ye be come into the city, ye shall straightway find him before he go up to the high place to eat. For the people will not eat until he come, because he do bless the sacrifice and afterwards they eat that be bidden. Now, therefore, get you up, for about this time ye shall find him. Some people will honor the way the Ruach moves and works in your life, okay? Don't get a big head. Don't become proud of it and all that. Just praise and thank Yah. Praise and thank the Most High, all right? Because some of us uh, uh, came from areas that, uh, 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 some in Israel are too holy to even have been down into or situations and conditions, all right? So just praise and thank y'all when people, uh, uh, the most high place people on your heart and your mind. But we're going to keep reading here in 1 Samuel 9, verse 14. It says, and they went up into the city, and when they were coming to the city, behold, Samuel came out against them for to go up to the high place. 15 is where I'm telling you that you got to make uh, have clarity on who's who who's around you in your life. 15 says, 
Now, Yah had told Samuel in his ear a day before Shaul came, saying, see, the Most High told him, put him on point. So if you don't get checked in your spirit, uh, I already get forewarned from the Ruach, from the Most High, about something somebody's running, getting ready to run down on you about or whatever, whatever, whatever. I really think you should hesitate in that area. Case in point, uh, not this past six day, last six day, one brother hit me up, just had a long three, four days trying to help this widow get her, uh, uh, widow, um, which was a great grandmother, get her financial situation settled, me and a, a team of individuals. Praise and thank the Most High for his covering, for keeping us while we went and did what we did to get the money. Anyhow, uh, one one brother hit me on the sixth day and was like, um, uh, 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 the Ruach told me you're going to give me 900 dollars to pay uh, 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 my bill on uh, uh, by Monday. And it's due Monday. Dude, I ain't get no no message from I ain't get no usually I get a text, an email, a call from the most high. I ain't get nothing from the most high concerning. You know what I mean? Uh I gotta give you 900. Where I'm gonna get this 900 from? What I'm gonna do? Print it? Where I'm gonna get this 900 from? All right. So be extremely careful, warriors how people try to run down on you and, and try to make merchandise of your gift, talent, and ability, get you to prostitute it in their fiendish low cause, all right? And then the dude got mad with me and called me a fake or phony and all this, that, and the third because I don't know what spirit uh, he was listening to. Somebody said a lying spirit, but I don't know. The most I didn't lead me to, to <laughs> I don't know. I prayed with the brother and all that, but I don't know. The brother was intent that I literally was going to reach in my pocket and pull out a band and say, hey, go, go pay that. I'm not built like that yet. I'm not built for that yet. Yet. All right. My thing is this. Continue to stay prayerful. You can't help everybody. Messiah even said, the poor you will always have with you. So be mindful. Be extremely mindful how you're dealing with people and how you're receiving people. It went on to say in 1 Samuel chapter 9, verse 17, and when Samuel saw Shaul, Yah said unto him, Behold the man of whom I spake to thee of. See, he got a check in his spirit. This same shall reign over my people. Now, it's getting into the position now, the real reason why the asses was lost, Shaul had to go look for the asses with the Ebed, and end up finding Samuel so that the Most High, his greater plan, can be made uh, into fruition. Some of you all got to stop looking for the asses and just get with the most high. All right? You got to. It goes on to say, um, verse 18, Then Shaul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me, I pray thee, where the seer's house is. And Samuel answered Shaul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me unto the high place. For ye shall eat with me today and tomorrow. I will let thee go and will tell thee all that is in thy heart. Let me stop right here right quick in verse 19. Who do you eat with? Huh? Who do you eat with? Huh? Who do you eat with? You can't break bread with everybody. Who do you eat with? All right? Be extremely careful and mindful of who you eating with. Be extremely careful and mindful of those, um, especially you out there uh, um, feeding the sheep on the street, ministering. Be extremely careful not to carry those spirits from out there back into your home, okay? They some wayward spirits. They some loose spirits, some spirits that will wreak havoc in your home. So you make sure you pray before you get into your home after being out there shaking hand, touching people and all of this. Let me get to you this way. Um, it was a throng in, in Jerusalem and all this and all that. And the uh, disciples around Messiah and Messiah walking in the middle. 
and 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 all of a sudden Messiah told him about who touched me. The disciples like what? It's twenty thousand people out here trying to get at you. You know about who touched you? He said, "Yeah, who touched me? I felt virtue leave my body. It was something Messiah felt leave his body." So next time you're around a bunch of people up there in them camps and them assemblies and them dens of confusement that they call uh, uh, places of worship on the seventh day, and that, that leader talking about touch your neighbor and say neighbor, oh, neighbor, and all this, nah. All you doing is compounding spiritual uh, 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 situations. You compounding some stuff, all right? Don't let everybody touch you. Don't touch everybody. Don't greet everybody with a handshake or uh, 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 with a hug or quote unquote like one dude, a holy kiss, all right? Don't greet everybody by bathing them and all that. That's what one of them Pequods did, one of them bishops. He was bathing women, all right? And the women would get up and testify about it in front of the people and the bishop's wife sitting right there, all right? And y'all want to talk about me and mine. What? <laughs> Look, man, for real, we can see and throw stones at each other all day long. I don't live in no glass house. And I'm quick to say, Father, have mercy upon me, for I've sinned against you and you only. But them people over there, nah, I ain't did, man. Look, they got what they, yeah, all right? Some of you all got to begin to learn how to rightly divide the word of truth when it come down to some things, all right? goes on to say here, all right? You don't want to continue to uh, 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 eat with people, uh, 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 have people touching all over you, shaking hands and all that. And, 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 and it's very important that you stop looking for the asses. I'm going to be the dumbass speaking to prevent all y'all madness, all y'all madness. I'm going to be the dumbass speaking, all right? And I'm going to prevent it as long as the Ruach give me breath in my body and activity in my limbs. All right? It goes on to say, now, this is the first time in this story from verse 1 up to verse 19. All right? Uh, uh, Shaul in the Ebed, Shaul and the servant know the situation. They know what they're looking for. Uh, Kish know about it. Saul's father up in verse 3. All of them know about it. All right? But now, here in verse 20, listen to what Samuel tell Shaul. And as for thy asses, that was lost three days ago. They run around three days looking for these asses. Set not thy mind on them, for they are found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on thee and on thy Abba's house? And Shaul answered and said, Am not I a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel, and my family the least of all the families of the tribe of Benjamin? Wherefore then speaks thou so to me? A lot of times somebody else will kind of like give you some spiritual insight into what it is the Most High will have you do, and then it will come to fruition into your life. Yeah, you, it takes a degree of, uh, 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 of righteousness for whoever is going to uh, begin to speak to you about what it is the most I will have you do. But I'm going to tell you, when, it, when a person is in righteousness and it works, believe me, it works. Because I watched a lot of uh, 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 ministries uh, um, under the unction of the Most High, still flourish to this day. But then when uh, um, the righteous leaders uh, 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 die off and retire and all of that, and, and as it's saying, uh, 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 scriptures in, in Tanakh, uh, uh, so-and-so did what was right in the eyes of the Most High, he rested with his fathers. But also, on the other hand, uh, uh, some of them leaders did what was wicked in the eyes of the Most High, and did not rest with his fathers, okay? So it's very important that you stay in tune. Begin in the press. Remember in Johan in chapter 14, 15, and 16. John chapter 14, 15, and 16. Those eight functions of the Ruach. Check them out starting in John chapter 14, verse 14. 
All right. Remember your training. Your training in uh, what is that? Luke four one through fourteen and Isaiah fifty eight six through fourteen. It's like forty some odd things in Isaiah fifty eight. Okay, and most of the work is done by the Most High, but you still got work to do yourself. So it's very important that as you take this mindset and want to be used as the Most High instrument of His will and His purpose, that you continue to apply each and every facet of scripture to your life. Some of you all need to be uh, uh, a little bit more fervent in your prayer life instead of praying those, now you lay me down to sleep if you pray at all. Because I already know how the camps in Israel and how the uh, 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 places of worship, dens of confusement, the the uh, kahals, the, the assemblies uh, 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 took prayer out, okay? And went on to say, verse 22, 1 Samuel 9, we almost finished. And Samuel took Shaul and his Ebed, brought them into the parlor, made them sit in the chief place among them that were bidden, which were about 30 persons. Samuel said unto the cook, bring the portion which I gave thee, of which I said unto thee, set it by thee. And the cook took up the shoulder and that which was upon it, and set it before Shaul. And Samuel said, Behold that which is left, set it before thee, and eat. For unto this time hath it been kept for thee, since I said, I have invited the people. So Shaul did eat with Samuel that day. Be careful who you eat with, okay? Proverbs tell you if you sit with a king or a prince and you're a man given to appetite, put a knife to your throat. But in this case right here, this is about kingdom business, all right? But still, be careful where you eat, warriors, and be careful who prepare your food. Everybody is not preparing your food in righteousness, all right? It's very important that you take time and, and ask the Most High to give you the necessary discipline to deal in wisdom to deal with the various situations. You don't want to end up with witches brew, all right? Before I got married, I uh, uh, I told my wife about how, you know, I used to, you know, be with people or whatever, whatever, whatever. And every time I leave and come back, I come with a new toothbrush. Ain't no way in the world you're going to sit there and clean the toilet with my toothbrush and put it back up there, all right? I would never eat no spaghetti if I ain't watch you make it, all right? I even seen some videos on social media with some raunchy stuff. People done dead. People done took spoons and put them in the dog's butt and, and, and get stirred it up in a bowl and gave it to the person that they supposed to love, all right? You all be mindful out there and be, be careful, okay? Be careful who you eat, uh, eat with and where you eating from, all right? Verse 25, 1 Samuel chapter 9. And when they were come down from the high place into the city, Samuel communed with Shaul upon the top of the house, and they arose early, and it came to pass about the spring of the day that Samuel called Shaul to the top of the house, saying, Up, that I may send thee away. And Shaul arose, and they went out, both of them, he and Samuel abroad. And as they were going down to the end of the city, Samuel said to Shaul, did the Ebed pass on before us, and the Ebed passed on, but stand thou still a while, that I may show thee the word of Yah. Hallelujah. Some of you all need an Ebed in, in, in the sense of helping you uh, 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 get to where you need to be. And where you need to be right now is with the Most High in his word, okay? It's very important that you stop looking for the asses and get where the most high is. His spirit can be found. His spirit ain't found in a lot of places. And some of you all may say, well, because of, you know, the situation here or the situation there, I can't do this, I can't do that. You can do it. Just like you watch me at the beginning of this fall down on my knees and I face these and I lift up my hands. You can do that too in your home. You can take time out, uh, a minute out, 
seven minutes a day, a minute, just to work on saying, hallelujah, I praise you. Hallelujah, I thank you. Hallelujah, I glorify you. Hallelujah, I lift you up. Hallelujah, Father, I invite you in the midst of my life. Stop looking for the asses and get where Elohim is, okay? It's very important that we do. There's a lot of people being hindered, a lot of people being tripped up. And like I told you, I'm praying that the Most High will kill that false prophet out of most of the people's lives in the month of uh, this seventh month. The hand and eyes that we read about in Jeremiah chapter, what was that, 27, 28, who tried to lie to Jeremiah, Jeremiah of all people. Who you gonna help? How you gonna sit here and try to lie to Jeremiah of all people? This man of the uh, uh, thrown down in pits and everything. But in the first chapter, it sets the tone. The 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 the, the profile of Jeremiah, Jeremiah. I, I knew thee before I formed thee in thy mother's womb. I have ordained thee a prophet to root out, pluck down, tear up, build up. You know what I mean? So stop looking for the asses and get where the most high is, his word. All right. Right now, we're going to end this in prayer. And hopefully, if anybody got any questions, comments, or whatever, you know my number. If you don't have my number, inbox me your number, and I'll call you just as immediately, okay? It's very important that we stay on point in his word. Nowhere in there does it say anything about uh, changing the fees from the seventh month to the eighth month and all it is. And all these extra captains they added and all, look, it's shenanigans. Three things that be a record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Ruach, and these three are one. Let's pray. Father, y'all, as we kneel before your throne of mercy and grace, Father, I praise and thank you for allowing me to be an instrument of thy will, of thy will and thy purpose. I praise and thank you for allowing me to be that dumbass speaking to prevent your people's madness. I ask, Father, that you would just allow the Ruach, Father, to comfort, lead, and guide us into all truths, Father, so we can stop looking for the asses and get where you are, Father. We ask, Father, right now, Father, that you would just keep out your protection around each and every one. Seal this word in each and every one when false doctrine, tripped out doctrine, way out doctrine, try to rise to dissuade them and try to discourage them. Allow them to remember the comfort and the peace in your word, Father, and allow them to stand strong. We ask right now, O oh Heavenly Father, that you would bless each and every one of us all together and bless us one by one. Bless us to be blessings unto you, unto ourselves, and unto one another, Father. I ask that you will open up a great and mighty door right now for your true ebeds, your true servants, Father, so that they're able, Father, to stand, Father, and nurture your people according to your election and purpose in your word. We ask this this day, Father, and bless keeping God each and every one until we meet again. We ask these and all other blessings in your word, we pray. Hallelujah. You all be blessed. You all be safe. I truly appreciate all you all that joined with us. I truly appreciate each and every one of you all. Just continue to seek the Most High's face. Shalom.